in this section we are going to discuss a very important concept called functions functions are very special in JavaScript there are many ways and different patterns you can implement using function to begin with I want to share a piece of code which you see right now which displays a line some header and again a line assume that this is a header which is getting displayed on a report so if I run it displays a header in the console imagine that these three lines are part of a report which is having more than 100 pages so every time when you want to print a header you are going to use these three lines but because the report is of 100 pages you will have to write these three lines at the beginning of every page which you don't even know how many pages the report may have when you want to define this process in a sub program and if you want to call again and again or if you want to call whenever it is needed then you define this process in a function by theory a function is a sub program which can be called as and when required let's try to put these three lines in a function and then we'll understand the syntax of function in JavaScript with detailed explanations if I want to put these three lines in a function then I'm going to write a function keyword and I give name of the function let's say the name of the function here is display header you put pair of parentheses that is opening and closing and of course the code which you write that will be inside block of curly brackets now the only thing I need to do is I'm going to shift this code inside the function but now if I run then there will not be any output because the code which you write inside the function whenever you want to execute that code you have to call the function to call the function you have to write the name of the function so this is the name display header and because we are calling it we are going to put again pair of parentheses this is how you call a function so now if I run the function will be called the moment it is called the programming control will go to this line and step by step the code will be executed the advantage of the function is if I want to call the function again I do not have to write those three lines just type the name of the function that is you call the function and it is available so now if I run this code it is going to display the header twice this is the advantage of using a function in your program any code which you want to call again and again you can put that in a function let's understand the syntax of the function now in JavaScript when you define a function this is how the syntax looks like you write the function keyword at the beginning then you give name of the function you open and close parentheses and you have the block of code inside this curly brackets this is the simplest syntax of a function there are also other possibilities we can implement we can think of inside a function a function sometimes need information to process for example when you say console dot log and you give a string to display that means you are passing information to this function you are passing a string here we can also create a function which can take information and process it whenever you pass information to a function that is called as parameters when you define it inside a function they are also called as arguments let's first of all understand a practical example and then we will look into the syntax part of it let's say we want to define a function 
which takes two parameters that is a and b so now here i am not going to say let a or const be nothing like that you don't use let var const any keyword when you specify the parameters in function now this function is going to add the values passed to this function so what will we do we'll just display console.log a plus b now whenever you want sum of two numbers you just have to say 4 comma 5 inside sum any value you pass and that will be displayed as a sum now let's try this function two times let's say 46 comma 30 now this function we are calling two times with different data so when we run it's going to display two different totals let's try to understand the syntax what we have practically tried here when a function takes parameters the function name of the function and then inside this parentheses you have list of information passed when you call the function and this is called as parameters it is also called as arguments you can have each argument separated by a comma sign remember you just give the variable name here you do not begin that variable with var let const any other keyword so this is a parameterized function now let's go back to the coding and we try to understand one more possibility so in this case the function is taking two parameters and displaying the value but assume that the value which is being calculated here that value you need at this point that is from wherever the function is called that is the place where the sum is needed that means the function should not only display there might be different statements or process and then at the end you might return the result so what you can do is you can write the return statement which defines that this function is going to return the value at the end that is a plus b now when the value is returned that you can take in a variable let's say i take a variable called answer and we call this sum so now sum is returning a value that is assigned to variable answer now let's try to display value of answer here so i'll say console.log answer now in the second example instead of storing the value in a variable the value which is returned by a function that we directly send to the console so this is also possible of course normally when you write your coding you are going to call the function the function will return a value and that gets assigned to a variable or it is processed in a different way but here we are taking that value that is returned by function sum in a variable as well as we are sending the value returned by the function to the console let's try to run this code and see what is the output the output is similar the value is returned so now earlier the function was displaying the value in the function itself but now function processes the value and returns so return is the statement which is used to return a value from a function remember you can return only one value it might be an array or an object literal which we will see in forthcoming sections but returning means it returns one value at a time not only that the moment you have a return statement inside a function that means the programming flow is out of the function so if you write any more statements after return statement that's not going to work so whenever a function is returning a value that means that has to be the last statement let's try to see the syntax now we have taken arguments here so function function name we may have parameters param1 param2 and so on and there might be some coding inside the function and at the end the value is returned so you use the return statement to return a value this is a very common way or you can say it's a traditional way even 
javascript es5 es6 this way of function is absolutely valid of course in es6 onwards there is also an arrow function but before we understand arrow function we need to understand a concept called function expression so let's try to write the function sum again which takes two parameters and let's say we return a value also doesn't matter whether i display or return and we call the function and we pass two values here so that i am going to straight away display on the screen that is the console let's first of all check this that the code is working fine normally in javascript we see that the function is also return with an expression syntax and that is called as function expression so let's try to understand first of all what is an expression you must have seen in mathematics we write a is equal to b plus c when you say a is equal to b plus c it's a kind of expression the function can also be written with the similar way let's try to see how it works when we want to write the function expression syntax the same function will look something like this you will declare a variable let's say i declare variable sum is equal to you are assigning the entire function to variable sum of course at that in that case let's say this function name is total so now if you look at this syntax the function is assigned to a variable called sum this is called as function expression now when you write this syntax and because you are going to call the function with some keyword only you do not need this name here so we don't use the name of the function when we write function expression syntax a function without a name is called as an anonymous function so what we are doing when we write function expression we declare a variable we assign the function to that variable which is actually an object now and the function we assign doesn't have a name so now if i call this code the result will be the same not only that let's also try to display value of sum itself remember i am not calling the function here rather i am displaying the value of sum which is actually holding this entire function it's a kind of pointer to that function so when we run this as you can see the value of sum is entire function remember this is not a string assigned to a variable sum is of type function to check what is the type of function we can use the type of operator to check what is the type of sum so it says it's a function so when you assign an anonymous function to a variable then that syntax is function expression and this is a very common way of writing function in javascript instead of let you can use const as well because you know that there is nothing you are going to assign to this function so you can declare this as a constant as well so i can say const sum var used to be there in es5 now we don't use var often so now we go with es6 syntax only normally you would see that when you define a function expression with es6 syntax we write const most of the time but even if you write let it's not going to change any behavior so if we see the syntax of function expression we may have parameters we may have return statement but the way of writing is that you declare an object i wouldn't say variable actually it's an object so when you say let or const and then the variable name that is actually an object you are creating which is of type function so we create const or let then the object name or variable name whatever you call it eventually it's an object then you can call the function with this name itself 
In ES6, this function expression is used as an arrow function. So in other words, arrow function is actually function expression only. The only thing is that you remove this function keyword and you put an arrow after this list of parameters. So now if I run again, the output is going to be the same. So this is how you write an arrow function. Of course, we are going to discuss arrow function in detail when we discuss the advanced concepts of JavaScript functions. But in short, arrow function is a replacement of function expression or you can say in other words, arrow function is function expression itself. So this is a very basic section of functions, how we use functions, what are functions, passing parameters, returning values, lot of things you do using functions. We are going to discuss lot of other advanced concepts in the separate sections dedicated to functions with advanced concepts.